Okay, so, uh, where did I leave? Ah, yes, I had it uploaded. Now I need to get, I need to pass that uh, information through to the shaders and then render it, because right now it's still the triangle, the basic triangle. Um, I guess one of the first things I need is to do a, like, a simple mesh. Hmm. Uh, vertex shader. Do 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 that. Version four fifty one full. We'll have this for a camera and UVO. Um, do I want a model matrix? No, right now I'll just leave it at the at the um, origin. But what I do need is. Uh, what do I need? I need the layouts for this, which means layout locate. Okay. So that's a uniform. We need the information that's passed in as part of the vert as the vertex uh, after what is it vertex assembly input assembly, something like that. We'll just have in position. Um, Normal and UV, I'm not even going to bother quite yet. Just want to pass in position information and have it rendered up. Um, as a 1 to 0. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what? I'll also I'll put in layout. Equals 2 in vec. 2 in UV. I'll pass that in as well so that I can actually have some interesting stuff. Layout. Wonderful. Um, layout. Mm -hmm. And then basically be this, wouldn't it? Um, rather than that, it'll be in position. Out UV equals in UV. Pass that out as well. Assembly input, something like that. And then we have this, which is just in position, back four, times projection view. Okay, that should be simple enough. Um, I mean, I, I may as well, like, just to be um, a thorough. Now generated, lovely. So do, 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 do. in here we need to go down to the vertex shader. Okay, actually two things. We need to, first of all to have these guys outside so that they can pa be passed way through. That we generated the stuff. We're in here. We're I oh, don't know. No, no, no. Vertex shader. Where is it? Mesh vertex. Oh, here we go. Camera try turns into mesh dot vert SPV. We got this layouts. We have this triangle strip. Triangle list. Uh, 
and then we're going to have to uh, what are we going to, have to do the the inputs vertex inputs so uh, input bindings attribute or bind okay we have one binding of three attributes right location format offset no okay then it's yet yes the binding is the one I was looking for first of all, yes. So if dot binding equals first binding, zero, whatever. Dot stride equals um, eight. For the moment, eight times size of float. To be more precise. Dot input. Input rate vertex and that. And then we have M vertex input attributes. This is the three things, the position normal and that, that I really am looking forward to. So first of all, this two and three. Location equals zero equals part of the first zero binding as well. Format is format. Format R32 GB32 float. Offset is zero. The second one, similar deal for normal except it's at location one and it's offset by three times size of float and then finally we have uv which is location two <sighs> it's just rg32 and it's at six points off the offset okay we've got all that Okay, and down here, there you go, got this. Um, I'm not even doing depth yet. Oof, whatever. Well, actually, maybe fragment, cull mode. back as long as I get a cubic looking thing it's not going to have depth or anything so it's probably going to be overriding each other a little bit well not quite yet because of the call mode hmm Your render pass, scissor, uh, no depth yet. We got this and this. Bind the descriptor set. Then we want to whoop, VK bind uh, vertex buffers. There's uh, one binding. The buffer is just a vertex buffer. One. And we've got an offset of zero. Hmm. Let 
index buffer. Zero. Oh, there's an eight. Hmm. If you really have really small uh, freaking things. Okay, we got that, 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 that. We got one of What? How many vertices were there? I think it's like 144. Come on. Or num faces, num vertices. It's 12 fa uh, faces times 3, 36. Yeah, okay, so, so 36. And it's not VK command draw, it will be. Next, we have one, one instance, right? First instance, zero, the vertex offset of zero, first index of zero, what? Am I crazy? No, this ain't right. Drawing direct. Draw mesh tasks. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't. I mean, I could probably, I, okay, you know, you know, blah, 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 blah. what I can do is draw 36, because it will be probably right. 36 of them. Let's see what goes. What happens? What happens? Because they are still in order. I could do one, then I can figure out the index just after. A, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, failure. Nice. Failure. Locations vertex shader consumes input at location zero, but not provided. Okay. Really? Did I not? Yes, that's right. I set these without actually, you know, um, vertex script or dot vertex input SCI. Like, does this actually do what I think it does? It does set that. And that is the thing that's passed into the engine, but not to pipeline generator no oh, pipeline pool do, 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 do. yeah here we go this is the problem yeah do that come on show me the magic Ah, okay, so I am calling the wrong side, but there you go. There's a vertex drawn cube. It's a nice effect. Um, okay, yeah, I didn't destroy the stuff. That's fine. Let's uh, call the front, I guess.
And there we go. Now it's the front side that's... Or the back side. Right? Yeah. If I look at it head on, I can't... Yeah. Okay. Still a really high frames a second. Ooh. That's a bit of a problem. I'm still getting... Um, even though I'm actually using the UI, it's still passing the, through the stuff. Yeah, not great. Okay, uh, user input. Let's figure this out real quick. Like, user input, user input in the loop. It's here somewhere. Process user input. Okay, so if, okay, let's put this in a block. And then I, if I recall correctly, inside I'm GUI renderer, I put in want capture mouse. So, where was I? I put it here. If um, Not dot want capture keyboard and not yeah okay that should preclude it if I'm using if I'm capturing the mouse or the keyboard for the UI then it should not be passed through to the rest of the user input processing for now All right so that's right and then that's right. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's a little bit better. So we can do that real quick. Nice little thing to do. Let's see if we can get that in a little bit. So that's engine, uh, that's mesh loading. Okay, no, that but that was vertex stuff only. I want to figure out the index draw. The indexed draw. back for a moment 
dk command draw indexed. Okay, I must be like having a okay command buffer. Yeah. The index count. Oh, okay. So I was kind of index count. Yes. Okay. I I thought I misread that as like index. What did I misread it as? Like instance, I guess. And I put a one instead. So one. First index is zero. Vertex offset is zero. First instance is zero. For the moment, anyways. Oh, I just realized I screwed up. <sighs> Somehow. Okay. First instance, vertex offset, first index. Do I have like the index buffer wrong? Index type is 32. I do put it in. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there like is the index count different from what I'm thinking of? 36. No, it's it's the same. Oh, right. We're here. We 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 go here. We have command buffer. Okay, go away. Index count. We have 36 indices we're working through. We have the instance of 1. First index starts at zero. Vertex offset is zero. Yes. Oh, 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 the culling. The, uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Maybe the vertices are in like the opposite order. So that's why I was going backwards. Please. Please let that be it. And then if I fixed it with the index, then I would never have anything drawn. Nope, not at all. Good and absolutely garbage. not none none we're just not calling anything right give me anything and the only things I get here are for failure to destroy a couple of buffers after the fact.
Well, that's fun. That's a, that's a trippy experience right there. Yeah. Things aren't right. Come on. How do I index? Okay. Uh, VK spec. You show me my failure. VK draw indexed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go until you find it. Draw indexed. Almost. Command draw indexed. Number of vertices. Times one. Base index. Okay, uh, time to call in render doc. Or is it broken? Is it broken? Crap! Render doc's broken! It's not starting up. Nope. Really? Python's gone. Are you sure about that? Python 3.8. Is it maybe? Um, okay, what's what's my Python version? Did I just like update it and not? 3.0. Did it just update? I need to rebuild. Hold on. Power's dead. <laughs> Sorry, what? Wow. Okay, my uh, arch installs a little F right now. I'll be back in a little bit after I figure this nonsense out. Okay, Picard's alive now, yes? Yeah. Okay, um, uh, nope, too many pluses. Give me, fuck! Give me render doc, please. Yes. No. Go. Crap! No, I needed to rebuild. Uh. Build it. There we go. Okay, while that's going, maybe I can figure it out in the meantime. Like. 
j what if i let me have a look at the index indices maybe i screwed up the creation of them it's a massively obvious way well let's have a look at the index data maybe it's just the data that i'm effed up right Come on, index data. It's the data that I screwed up. Ooh, that was a waste of time trying to get Ranger Dog back. What did I do wrong? <gasps> yeah, okay, that makes a lot of sense. Not incrementing through anything. You're just re you're rewriting the first three every time. The f no, not even the first three. The first one every time. Not quite. Still okay. Something else is going on. What now? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now these are completely in order. Zero through thirty-six. So the index should be fine, but it's not. It's just blank. How's that going? Still going. Let's kill this one. Going through the QC stuff. Hmm. Like, I know this works. 0 through 36, just plain old running the vertex vertices is fine. So it's just the data that's wrong? I mean, Vertex, well, actually, maybe it's how I'm mapping the model buffers. Maybe I'm override, no, because if I'm overriding the vertex data, then it would be just a mess. It wouldn't even be a cube. What's this? Um, 36 times 8 times 4. A bit too late for me to do math. Um, 36 times 8 times 4. S sorry? What? Whoa, 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 back up. What am I doing? Okay, in here, I'm like, I come in. It's how many vertices, right? 36 vertices. 
36 vertices times something. Three component types. Hold on. Oh, yes. Okay, okay, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Um, I'm passing the byte size, so I need to, like, do this. Divide by size of float. And I'll provide the much more accurate count. So then this should become, okay, get rid of that. We don't need it. Don't need that. Don't need this. Don't need that. We're here. Okay. Vertex data size and stuff. There we go. That's better. Mm -hmm. Um, what's it? Fifty-four thousand to fifty-four thousand four hundred and eighty. Looks right. We've got this. This is from the original vertex type, VK command, not the indexed one. And it's just gone. It's just it's just gone. It's just gone. Okay, you're done. You're done. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Um, please tell me render docs now live. There it is. Just needed to rebuild on the new Python. Okay. Um, yeah. F12. Capture that frame. Let's have a look at the data in the mesh viewer. For capture start, VKQ, baked, blah, 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 color pass, draw indexed. Okay, this is what? This is drawing. What is this drawing? Oh, no, this is, um, yeah, this is drawing uh, the UI. So this is the one I care about. And what, okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? In position. Oh, what am I looking at? Vertex. Sorry, what? What am I looking at? There's just a whole bunch of nothing in like one corner. It's nothing? Or is it just like a single? Okay. Uh, it's rebuild using the VK command draw. Don't actually run it. I want to run it with render doc. Launch. No. Run it. Twelve. To capture it. Wonderful. Um, color pass, first one, mesh viewer. See, that's an actual lopsided cube of some sort, but there it is. We got actual proper information. Vertex index. Bam, easy. Okay. Okay, I uh, resource inspector. We got. I don't know. 
What is it? This is an index buffer. Show me what's inside of here. So this is the vertex buffer. Show me what's inside. Can I actually see what's uh, view the contents? Mm -hmm. Not quite. Okay, what am I looking at? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, this is not the one I'm looking for. Oh, you know what? This is probably the... Um, the one used... But I'm gooey. Uniform buffer. Vertex buffer. Okay, what's this one? See the contents of this one. What are you? 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 Floats! Oh my god. Basically, ones and zeros, which is what I'm looking for, really. Okay. Is that like an index buffer? Like it just says index buffer rather than. Yeah, this index buffer is what? View contents. Uh, no. No, this is fine. Not at all. What I'm looking for. Buffer 196. What's 199? This is obviously something else entirely. Okay, uh, what? Oh, is it because I'm just not like, um, pulling in ref? No, I'm referencing all resources. Okay. Okay, I can see. Okay, no. oh, here we go. 177. Uh, 199. Okay, hold on. Vertex buffers. Buffer 196. Which is actually that one. Oh, buffer 196 is this one. So if you the contents of this, this is... Float three, float three, and float two. Times, yeah. Okay. That then leaves Binding index buffer. This buffer in 199. You are supposed to be uint. Three uints. And you're just complete 
Nonsense. Okay, I must not be copying them in right then. Like I, okay, I copy them into uh, map them in. I copy them into here. This is the right location. This is eleven fifty two after. I unmap. Okay, record. Yeah, I want to upload commands. Recording. Okay, that's great. Copy. Staging index. Yeah, that's too wonderful. Right. We change copy region up to this. It's 144, which is 30. Where is the calculator? Where did it go? There it is. Three six by one forty four. Okay, that's 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 absolutely right. <gasps> the source offset. Oh. Just run it like this and just see if. Yay! Okay, now I have index draws, index draws as well now. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm slightly concerned that the back and front are swapped. But. I guess I'll take that. I mean, that's progress. Oh, no, you don't. Uh, uh, victory too early, of course. Let's actually try it this time. Now it's time to celebrate. Okay. Now we have the right draw type. It's properly indexed. Great. Um, okay, let's see if we can actually change it up just a little bit. Let's say, let's give it to the normals. We don't actually use normals. We just do this. Like that. And then we get rid of one of the... So it's position zero, or location one, zero, and two. Does that work? Can I have non-contiguous? Uh... Apparently, I can. Okay, I will take that. And I'm just going to double check in the render doc that you know what. It is indeed. Nope, no way. F12. Index buffer is now actually real. We do that. Mesh viewer on oh, the color pass. First one. We got it. We got it. We got it. What's the index? Show me the index buffer specifically. Buffer 199. Show the contents. They are indeed correct. Okay. A lot better. In UV. Okay, I can I can use the in UV as it stands right now. Okay. So, 
I don't have that. I can, okay, I'm loading single meshes. I still kind of want to expand this to load an entire, do I want to load an entire model or just the meshes? Hmm. Not entirely sure. No, what I want to do now is the animation aspect. Uh, but I'll leave that until another little go. Another little session. <laughs> 